you need to have how many um I gotta find that page there Adam. by Friday you need to show me your research topic ideas um, on six. Now Adam has his ideas here, but he doesn't have any ideas filled in for these. You need to have some of these. They don't have to all be completed, but they need to have some of them. So um, he has his two ideas are Marvel, I presume that's the comics series, and the Philadelphia Flyers. So he needs to put a couple of ideas about what he would do. And right now he has his first and his second choices that might stay there. If he's ready to go, he can show it to me sometime today or tomorrow or Thursday. Question. Uh, so I got one for my topic. It, it, it's um, should people let, uh, uh, should the parents let them watch horror movies? Yeah. That, that's, that would, so your, your topic is horror movies. And that would be your opinion article, should parents. Yeah, and then you would put that right in there. That's exactly, good application. Of that. So today we're, our lesson is going to be asking research questions that, and research questions are the things that help you answer, like our friend's question for his opinion is, should parents allow their children to watch horror movies? Well, they should. Well, your question is, should they? You have to have arguments for both sides. And there's all different kinds of research questions. And you have a handout on page 8 and 9 in here, and we're going to talk about those in a minute. But first I want to show you a video about generating research questions to help you, not only in this project, but in any of your projects. For, oh, this one. Um, and it's the same company from the other one that we watched. Um, has anybody we met, oh, that flipped out. Does anybody? How do you start research for writing an informational text? I'm going to stop for just a minute and um, go back. Um, KWL charts, does anybody know, does that sound familiar to anybody? No. Uh, what you know, what you want to know, what you've learned. Oh, those things. Do you remember those? Yeah. Um, from other classes? So that's what that is. Um, and let's see if I can... In this lesson, you will learn how to develop research questions by asking, what do I already know about the topic? Let's review. An informational text teaches you facts. So we have our nonfiction or real topic that we decided was powhatan settler relations. We also want to make sure we review the writing process. There are three steps. Generate ideas, write drafts, and revise and edit. We're in the first stage, generate ideas, because we are thinking about what we know and what we don't know about no, our topic. They're just reviewing. A common mistake when thinking about what you know and don't know about your topic is jumping right into your research without any direction. You want to make sure you plan out the questions you have about your topic and the answers so that when you're ready to write your draft, it'll flow very smoothly. Let's get started. First, create a KWL chart. Then ask, what do I already know about the topic? And finally, record what you know in the chart. First, create a KWL chart. And that looks like this, with three sections. The first section is for the no, that's the K, what you already know about the topic. The second is the W, what you want to know. These are the questions you have about your topic. And the L is learn, for what you're going to learn about the topic when you find your resources. Then you're going to ask, what do I already know about the topic? So let's take a look at our topic, Powhatan Settler Relations. And I'm going to think about what I've learned in social studies class about Native Americans in Jamestown. And I know that Powhatans lived near Jamestown because they were angry about the land, and so they had to live near them to be able to interact with them. And I also know that Pocahontas kept peace between the people. She was um, played a big role between them becoming peaceful later on, so I know that. And I also know that the Native Americans taught settlers about the land. I remember that it was very cold and they had a bad winter and they helped them farm. So those are the things I already know about my topic. Now I'm gonna record what I know in the chart. So here's my KWL chart again. And in the notes section, I'm gonna write, Powhatans live near Jamestown. They taught settlers about the land to survive and Pocahontas kept peace between the people. 
So in later lessons, I'm going to fill in my W and my L section when I think about my questions and my answers. We created a KWL chart. We asked, what do I already know about the topic? And we recorded what we knew in the chart. In this lesson, you have learned how to develop research questions by asking, what do I already know about the topic? So, um, that is one of the things that strategies that you can use. I'm also going to ask you all now to turn to page 8 in your packet. Okay, and I'm going to borrow yours since you're filming right now. Okay. The art of asking questions. There's always an art and a science to things. Science is the, when we say that, we kind of mean the actual method, the factual way. And the art is giving it pizzazz and giving it that something extra yes. that sometimes called a what? Pizzazz, it's a good word. Pizzazz, it is a good word, isn't it? I like saying that. Yeah. So you, yeah. asking the right kinds of questions will help make your writing just wow, pop out of the page. So there's um, several, there's two basic kinds of questions. One is factual questions. So um, we could read this handout, but I'm just going to tell you what that is about rather than read it word for word. That's to just give the facts. Who, what, when, where, how, what are horror movies, who is in them, who's on the Philadelphia, or how did, the, did hockey get started, where did the Philadelphia, where did the Philadelphia Flyers play, Philadelphia, uh, <laughs> Philadelphia what, Philadelphia, Afghanistan, where is Philadelphia though? Oh, United States. Where in the United States of America? <laughs> yeah, so be as specific as possible. Provide those details to your audience. So the, the factual ones are questions that answer who, what, when, where, why, uh, and how. The why could be either in the factual ones or in the next section, which are interpretive questions. And those are ones that make you think. One kind of interpretive question is the hypothetical. Would our lives be different today if the Confederate states had won the Civil War? Oh man. Or how would our lives be different if the um, the car hadn't been invented? There's no horror movies. Yeah, no horror movies, okay, yeah. Oh, how would our lives um, no what would have happened if we um, if hadn't I, switched from in doing mostly industrial work as a country and did mostly farm work? Example. You got another example? What if sandwiches weren't invented? Yes. What if the University of Maine hadn't been here in, placed here in Orno but had been put in another town, oh. in Bangor? How would yeah. Orno be different? This, so that would be for the person who's thinking oh. about Orno. That's, that's an idea of a question. You may or may not go Orno with that wouldn't question. Have as many students. We wouldn't have yeah. as many college students. That's a big thing. So that would that mean we would have it, <laughs> would we have um, need as big a police department? No, and um, we'd have more space in restaurants. We'd have more space in restaurants. <laughs> we'd also have more homes for families rather than for college students. We'd be able to We'd be able to sleep because they wouldn't be outside our doors, yes. our windows, yeah. Okay, so another kind of interpretive question is a prediction. How will something look or be in the future based on its, on the way it is now? Cool. So if you were doing something about animals, um, would, are, are dolphins going to become extinct? <gasps> are they going to become uh, What do we, um, will the Penobscot River, now that they've taken the dams down from it, be restored? Will the yeah. salmon come back, or will they not? I hope they do. Salmon, yes. tell me. In the future, what if you could go into the movies? Oh, oh so like a virtual movie. Yeah, yeah, like so a virtual reality. Yeah, yeah that is a nerve gear. You are right on fire today with your questions. That's nerve you gear. You are doing asking great questions. Okay, so we've talked about factual yes. questions, and then the interpret, the hypothetical, the prediction, and then the solution. What solutions could be offered? So, how could we save the dolphins from extinction? How could we help the Philadelphia Flyers be the best hockey team ever? How could we make Orno be a thriving community that everybody wants to live in, but not too many people? 
so that we don't get overrun. Yes. Um, so, um, can we make a virtual reality, like Nerve Gear, which is a thing from Nerve Gear? Nerve Gear, it's a thing from an anime that my brother watches. Which okay. Is cool. Yep. It connects to your brain. Okay. And then uh, the other, the other, there's two more kinds of um, interpretive questions. One is comparison. What are the similarities and differences between your main subject and a similar subject? So, how is um, dolphins and their extinction rate or their survival rate compared to whales or compared to um, squid or octopus? Yes. How, which are the pop, which one is the popular horror movies or horror games? Oh yes, so oh, expanding the horror genre, and you could add, you could add books too. Which Stephen media King. is Stephen is King. most popular for horror? Oh, and he can make an article about different authors who write books. That's another option. And then the yeah. last um, type of interpretive question is a judgment one. Based on the information, what is your informed opinion? And we talked about that, about opinion articles is one of yours, and you had one, an opinion one too. So what I'd like you to do now is um, go to um, page 10, 11, 12, and 13, and think about the kinds of questions you might want to. Now, I have spaces for six questions on each one. You don't have to have six questions. Actually, a good article should only, because the magazine, magazine articles are short. We're not doing a 25-page research paper. We're doing short magazine articles. So you may only end up choosing one or two of the questions to do your article on. But you might, like our friend over here with the horror, had a three or four, he had a couple of opinion questions. He might put them all here and then pick and choose which one he wants to do. So you don't, have, right now what I want you to do is look at those four pages and begin to brainstorm questions. And when it says on the uh, chart type of question, I want you to put, is it a factual question or a hypothetical, a prediction, a solution, a comparison, or judgment. And those are on pages 8 and 9. Any questions about what I want you to do between now and five minutes from now? You're just getting started on this. And this is partially homework, too. What? You don't have it's start it now, and then you're going to finish it in homework. Time. So what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to come up with questions, right? For your topic. For your topic. Before I do that, can I... Um, both are required, my friend, so. Can I do this before I do it? Yep.